What's going on everybody? Isaac with Civil Engineering Academy coming at you from beautiful Boise where I am currently taking a walk outside. I'm here for a conference. Join me as we think about what is the easiest PE exam that you can take. Huh? Think about that. It's a question I get all the time. We're going to address it today in Civil Engineering Academy's Quick Tips. Alright, let's take a stop here, otherwise I'm going to be winded the entire walk. Whew, maybe we will keep walking, I don't know. Come walk with me, let's go. Might be a little bumpy. Alright, so let's talk about it. This is a common question I hear all the time and that is which PE exam is the easiest so I'm gonna ask you go ahead and break out your civil engineering reference manual I know if you're studying for the PE exam you have it if not then head to civil engineering Academy slash PPI and go get one you need it use our discount code of CEA 15 get 15% 15 off you definitely have to have that book for the PE exam. Anyway, if you get that book, go ahead and look at the subject matter on the side, the tabs. And on those tabs, you're going to see each category. Structures, water resources, geotech, construction. I want you to go through that and you tell me which tab, which section has the most amount of material, which one has the least amount of material. But keep in mind that the geotech and, not the geotech, the construction encompasses pretty much a variety of topics that's not just found in that small construction section. But just go through that and you tell me which section has the least amount of material to study in each of those sections. I'll wait. Go ahead. Okay. You done doing that? Alright, having done that, I'm going to tell you my opinion, and I think the top, well, maybe the top two, easiest PE exams that you can take are going to be, one, the geotech. If you look at the amount of material that's in there, it has the fewest, or not the fewest, the least. In addition to that, the standards that you have to bring with you to the exam are very minimal. I believe it's only one, one code, the ASCE 7. Um, the other one that I think is a go-to for ease is going to be the water resources exam. And the only reason why I believe that, it does have a little more material to study, but I think that because it has no standards, you have a leg up because you don't have to bring all those in with you. You don't have to study those as well. So. That's my opinion. The water resources and the geotech exam are probably the easiest, but don't let that kid you. All exams are hard and you all you have to put in time for each, each one of those. So plenty of time to pass the PE. Anyway, that's my opinion. If you would want like more tips related to civil engineering, the PE, the FE, any of the exams, Head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips related to that, including career advice and more. And make sure you subscribe as we will give you more tips to help you on your journey to become a professional engineer. All right, thanks for coming on the walk. I know I'm winded. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye.